Hi everybody, it's Amalia, and I'm here today with December 2019's House Mouse collab with Crafty Bean. Uh, this is the image that I used today, and I colored them with my Copic markers. I colored each one of the mice, uh, different shades, different groupings of browns, and I also di used different um, flesh tones. So these are all the colors that I used. That looks terrific. That's nice and clear. And I used some reds, some blues, mostly browns, obviously. And of course, my colorless blender. So those are the colors that I used. And I did different flesh tones for each of the mice. And uh, reds and uh, satin red bows for the next i had to look the image up on the internet so that i could figure out how to color it basically and um i got some great information um i, I didn't use any colors that i saw but i just saw the image colored in and so i figured out that i needed to do some micro mini shading <laughs> so that i could get uh what looked like a sheen what make it and make it look like it was satin uh, basically and so I think I did okay for such a tiny image I mean there's my nail and my pinky nail and there's that little tiny bow around his neck and her neck so um, so yeah um, the paper is um, Strathmore visual journal Bristol smooth cardstock um, I used this book to stamp out a bunch of images and I've been coloring them for the past couple of years. Here's um, the test image that I use just to test out how to color the bow, how the colors I chose went together, uh, etc. And um, yeah, I like the way it came out. Um, I am really going to get into using my Copic colors this year. Uh, the, I mounted this particular piece on foam and I used um, real red Stampin' Up textured cardstock as the mat. Uh, this velour bow, it's velour, right? That's the word for this. This velour bow is from this spool that I have right here and uh, this says it's Domain and I think Domain was like a furniture lifestyle store uh, I don't think they're in business anymore but I got this at Marshall's and I don't know when I'm trying to look at the receipt to figure out what year but I really don't know but I paid $12.99 for it which is kind of a lot for what it is it's really just a decorative piece but I've been using some of the ribbon and uh, I have this and I have also like craft and jute uh, on a spindle of uh, the more earth tone colors this is really pretty I bought it for the looks <laughs> although the ribbon on it is pretty fabulous as well and then I used um, eyelet outlets uh, enamel sticky back dots this is a matte white and just did a little accent on the corner there. This cardstock right here is from Michaels. I got it a couple of years ago and it's um, it was a set of pre-cut five by seven cards and envelopes. It's uh, this lovely pattern. You know, at certain times of the year, you, like at Halloween, you can get black pre-made cards and envelopes and orange ones. And at Christmas times, I've seen uh, red and green uh, pre-made cards and envelopes. I haven't seen any this year. It's been a weird year in the craft aisle this year. So, um, so yeah, I got that and uh, I use about one of these cards a year. So I'll have them that used up in about 20 years. <laughs> uh, I probably used more than that, but um, it's a pretty thick pack of of these and they go great at this time of year and I think it really complemented my image pretty well. Um, so this is the last of the House Mouse collab videos for 2019 
and um, I'm not sure if Tina's going to continue it into 2020. I don't think she is. Um, but if not, it's been two great years. Gracie 21 did it the first year. Tina Bean, uh, Tina, Gina, Crafty Bean Tina <laughs> did it uh, for this year. And of course, it's been great fun and very enabling when I see all the really amazing, beautiful, cute, adorable uh, house mouse images that I love so much. Um, I hope you enjoy this card and you've enjoyed this series of videos. I have a um, playlist from 2018 and from this year, 2019, of all the cards that I made. So uh, click on one of the links. I'll probably insert somewhere here or maybe here, I don't know, somewhere at the end of the video. And you can take a look at uh, that playlist. Just put it on automatic play, sit back and watch it, maybe have a cup of coffee, some tea, do some knitting while you watch it, just sit back and relax and you can see all the different cards that I made. I hope you, again, I hope you've enjoyed this series and if you have, don't forget to take a look at the other ladies that have done these cards as well, but click thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment below and um, thanks so much everybody. Bye.